Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. Today in this lecture we will learn about projections of lines. So case 1 is related to line parallel to both horizontal and vertical plane. So we will solve these cases by taking one statement that will help us to understand the case better. So let us see the first statement what he says a line AB is 50 mm long and points A and B are 40 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw projections. So we are asked to draw the front view and top view of the line. And some data is given about the position of line. Let us understand this data. Whenever we have to solve any case of a line, then first of all we have to see the quadrant of the problem. Now over here he has used two words above HP in front of VP. It means the quadrant is first quadrant. So let us draw the first quadrant. Now over here first quadrant is shown in the pictorial view and this is vertical plane, this is horizontal plane and this is reference line XY. Now let us understand this statement through this pictorial view. Now he says a line AB is 50 mm long and it is placed in such a way that endpoints A and B are 40 mm above HP. So you can see over here endpoints A and B are 40 mm above HP and both the endpoints are 30 mm in front of VP. So you can see both the endpoints are at 30 mm in front of VP. Now from this given situation we can clearly see that if both the endpoints are at same distance from horizontal plane it means line is parallel to horizontal plane. Similarly if both the endpoints are at same distance from VP that is 30 it means line is parallel to vertical plane as well. So we can say this is case 1 when line is parallel to both the reference planes. Now let us understand how we can get the two projections of the line in this particular case. So let us see how we can get its front view. So rays of sight from the eye of observer will strike the two endpoints of the line and uh, those two endpoints will be projected onto vertical plane through the rays of sight. And when we will connect those two projections of the endpoints, we will get the front view of the line. The front view of the line is denoted by small letter E dash and small letter B dash because the endpoints of the line were labeled as capital A, capital B. So this we have learned in projections of point chapter that if we have any point labeled as capital A then its front view will be labeled as small letter E dash. Similarly if we have a point labeled as capital B its front view must be labeled as small letter b single dash. So same notation we will continue in this particular topic also. Now in order to get its top view observer has to change his position he will look from top and again rays of sight from the observer eye will strike these two endpoints of the line and uh, those two rays of sight will project the image of these two endpoints onto horizontal plane. So when we will connect those two projections, we will get the top view of the line. And we denote top view by small letter A and small letter B. So now you can see we have obtained both the views or the projections of line AB which is parallel to VP and parallel to HP. And we can see that if line is parallel to any reference plane, then on that plane its view will be a straight line of true length. And one more important point we can note over here that these two projections front view and top view are drawn in such a way that front view is above top view or you can say top view is below front view. Now we will see how to plot this case on paper. So same statement is in front of us and we have seen its pectorial view. We have understood this case through pectorial view. Now we will learn 
if we get this case how to solve this case on paper so same steps we will follow which we followed for projections of point chapter so whenever we were solving any problem on projections of points the first step was we have to identify the quadrant same step is applicable here also it means whatever problem we have related to projections of line we first have to identify the quadrant of the problem so over here he is saying it is above hp in front of vp so above in front means first quadrant so after the identification of the quadrant of the problem second step is that we should represent that quadrant on paper means we should draw that quadrant on paper so how we draw first quadrant on paper we first draw reference line capital xy and space above reference line is considered as vp and space below reference line is considered as hp and we will write these two in gothic style in projections of point chapter the third step was we used to mark reference point on the reference line over here what we will do we will pick one point or one end point of the line about which maximum data is given so let us see about which point maximum data is given now name of the line is ab so there are two end points end point a and point b so let us see the data given about these two points he is saying endpoints A and B are 40 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So, data is given about both the endpoints. Means, for endpoint A, data is given from HP and from VP. Similarly, for endpoint B, data is given from HP and from VP. It means we can start with any of these two points. But let us pick the first point, that is endpoint A. Now, first of all, we will plot this point over here by using the same fundamentals which we followed in projections of point chapter so for that let us read the statement again he says endpoints a is 40 mm above hp a is 40 mm above hp that means we should show this distance on vp so what we will do we will mark a reference point on the line somewhere towards left and we will call that as a small letter a naught so he says A is 40 mm above HP means we have to show this distance on VP. Where is VP? VP is over here. It means we will align our scale with this reference point in vertical position and from this point we will sketch continuous thin line of 40 millimeters. And the end of that particular line will be called as A dash that will be the front view of point A. Now one very important point we have to understand that in case of projections of point chapter we used to label the end of the line this projection line bold but over here we are not solving any problem on points we are solving problem on line so over here we will not make end of the projection line bold because we are dealing with question of line not the point now after this we will read the second data of a so second data is A is 30 mm in front of VP. So distance is given from VP. We will plot this distance on opposite plane that is HP. So we will align our scale with this vertical line. And uh, from this reference point, we will draw another continuous thin line of 30 millimeters on HP. And of course, we know that on HP, we always get top view of a point. So we will label this end of this projection line as a small letter a but we will not make this point bold now after that what we will do we will understand the position of the line now over here he says endpoint a and b are 40 mm above hp means both the points are at same distance from hp if both points are at same distance from hp it means line is parallel to hp now, we have learned in the previous slides, if line is parallel to any reference plane, then on that plane, we will get view as a straight line of true length. It means on horizontal plane, we have to draw a straight line of true length, that is 50 millimeters, and that would be parallel to reference line. Similarly, you can see he is saying endpoints A and B 
are 30 mm in front of VP. So both endpoints are at same distance from VP. If they are at same distance from VP as well, it means they are parallel to VP. So it means if there is a line parallel to any reference plane, then on that plane its projection will be a straight line of true length. It means the projection of line AB on VP will be a straight line of true length that will be equal to 50 millimeters. So we have concluded that this is a case in which line is parallel to both the reference planes parallel to HP and parallel to VP and it means on VP and on HP we have to draw two straight lines of 50 millimeters. So from A dash we will draw a straight line of 50 millimeters parallel to XY and we will mark the end of that line as B dash. So this will be called as front view of the line AB. Now what next we will do? We will draw a straight line of 50 millimeters as well from A and that will and the end of that line will be marked as B and that line will be the top view of line AB. Then we will connect these two points with the continuous thin line that will be called as the second projector and uh, we can label this intersection as B0. Now you can see that we have drawn the front view and top view of the line for the first case. So we are ready with the construction. What next we have to do? We have to place the dimensions. So we will first place 40 millimeters, then we will place 30 millimeters in such a way that these two are placed by following the rules of chain dimensioning. And we have maintained a gap of 10 millimeters and we have left one millimeter gap here as well. Then after that we have to show the true length of the line also that we can place either over here or over here. It is your choice. So we have placed the true length on the front view that is 50 millimeters. So I hope this first case of line is clear to you.